here and secret versus liquid is about to begin we'll see how it goes the top lane work it'll feel good for Sai. he's just dropped it up boxy Looking for a good line for his spear. Able to nail him. Buying more time to attack into Zion. With the poison stacked up, that's first blood. Tiger will spill it. Meanwhile, on bottom lane, Mickey will go down. So they make the aggro try lane work. Yaps all very low on life. The fire spirit, there's not enough burn from Insania. And Matumba and Puppy, they all want to dive underneath the tier one tower. No more extra regeneration if you're dead under the tower. And if it kept going, they probably would have found the courier. Yeah. Oh, top lane, uh, bottom lane, sorry, Mickey. Pulled back in by the remnant of Matumperman. Then Yamsol follows up with his own punch, and Puppy's bringing the extra stuns. He's the man that had many, uh, many centaurs to work with. Matumba will go down. Mickey just kept the cool spray stacks going, and Puppy's not a healthy man. The stun buys some space, but Mickey gets himself a double kill. Seeker are meant to make this work, and now they're feeding the beast that is the bristle. So you hit more more levels, so they get higher points in their spells, so you can start like playing together and running at, at Liquid. But... You can't wait too long, because, yeah, you can't allow Liquid to get too much, right? <laughs> My god, Yapsil's being such a dick. The arena goes down, and they do actually catch out Zai. He TP'd himself in, and now caught on the Mars arena wall. Tiger has been brought down by Matumba in the back lines, but now another route. Zai having such a hard time getting away. Snowball was already being committed, but Matumba, with the double kill, Boxy committed everything he could to get the kill on Zai. And ends up being a two-for-one trade. Is this smoke's going to work out or not? Cause... They have to find him in the trees. They got a lot yeah. of stuns to chain. Now Prophet TPing him. This is best way to find him in the trees. Koifa, well, Life Striker Ray is going to be off target. Koifa still on the run. Shan's blocking him in, pinning him into the towards the corner. Bristleback is on the way to try and help out. Savage Raw creates a little bit extra space as they get another LSA off target from Nisha. So we can't finish the job just yet into Koifa Boxy or Yapsor. Koifa turned around, so Yapsor turns with him. Dodging the spear of Boxy. Nisha may lose his life for this, however. Sprout tries to hold him in the corner, but thanks to the arena, they see everything they need to. Zai's TP out will be successful. Spear of Mars was on cooldown. That's why he couldn't throw it until now. As Enchantress, Boxy trying to reach over the shards. Puppy TP will not be successful. The quills are in range, and Insania working together to try and kill off the Tumberman, but they'll have to settle for Yapsor. Snowballing into the Wild Wing. Already got a couple of poison stacks on him, and he will be brought down as Liquid bring their entire team. Oh, this is some fun confidence from Zai. He gets speared, speared by Boxy, goes straight back into stunning what he did before. Sentry Ward is down, and uh, well, Matumba's in the middle of both of them. Now Nisha comes over himself with the spear, locking Matumba up against the wall. Defensive snowball save will be able to work, even getting the follow up stun into Boxy and the shark control onto the Bristleback. But Insania will give him all the life back that he requires. SD was picked up by Matumbaman, and this is Team Secret just playing on so many different fronts, getting both the supports of Team Liquid, and maybe they go for a little bit more. The Enchant to slow down Mickey, follow up stuns, but they just don't have the damage output. Back to controlling the lanes. So that was really cool. And uh, Nisha, maybe Bottom lane. Here. Yep. Pinned up against the side. This time they get the arena off. Boxy only wants to get them over towards the side, so they burn, but Nisha just BKBs. Yapsaw still trying to fight this one out. Tiger doesn't have his purge off cooldown just yet, but they want Nisha. In fact, with Zai, Actually arriving in this fight too. It looks like it's Team Liquid who are the ones having the casualties. Mickey can stand his ground, so at least he can bring down Nisha. But how much more power has, has Mickey got? Enough once Koifer is here to lend the root, to lend the control. But Tomman trying to run away. The Remnant didn't get the control he was looking for over on Mickey. Now rooted up and brought down. Koifer ends the huge streak of Matumbaman seven times. Yeah, that's a problem for heroes like Lina, Void Spirit. Actually, all three of their cores, right? Like, they don't like Abyssal Blade. Well, they'll like a smoke gank if they can get a good initiation, but the bear's waiting out front. Koifer's in the trees. Insania was up on the hill, and they're trying to wrap around. They're just getting an observer ward inside the base, and they'll see no one's there. They're pretty obvious that this is the line towards the north that they're worried about. Boxy, who's really the one nice who can blink ward. away, stays close. They got a really nice ward in the base. So the tiger might end up getting caught again. Oh, Here. they see the ward now. Sentry is down, but Tumper comes in underneath the tier 3 tower. Go Scepter, buying some more time, plus the defensive disruption. TP's already arrived from Boxy, thinking about the arena, but uh, unfortunately for Tiger, Matumba just jumps back down towards him. Poppy getting wrapped around. There's your Abyssal Blade. It's done. Whoa! Okay, three hits will do it. Uh, it gets a little tense now, but so can teams. So Team Liquid, they want to barrel down. They want to be able to use the Aegis the Immortal to move forward. Do they think that this is actually going to be their time? Like, the advantage is still slightly the way of uh, of Team Secret. Maybe it'll help if you can get this pick up over on Poppy. Once again, a pistol blade control and hit. 
just way too strong. I mean, the gold is in favor of... Oh, uh, God. I actually caught a bigger one. They caught Zai. Koifa are going to bring the bear back in again with the Savage Roar. As much disabled as they can get. They even get the extra root. A prophet sprout. Did anyone bring a blade? Yeah, they did. Cutting through the trees. And Zai, Nisha, will arrive himself to try and help out Boxy. Focusing him down. BKB wants to get inside the arena. Let's look at the blade go. And Boxy, now at least he's able to walk himself outside the arena. But the Ether Remnant pulls him back closer once again. But Tumba jumps forward. Defensive destruction buying more time. But they can't keep Boxy alive. No matter how hard Liquid try. But Koifa trying to do this almost solo. He's almost got lean of the roost. Just continue on forever. The bear will be claimed as a rebuttal. But bear for Lina, you'll take it. Okay. So... It, it it pierces spell immunity, so yes. I, I want to say that it does. I right? Yeah, I I want I want to say oh, yes it, too. It says it says yes. Right yeah, there, it says pierces right. it says that. pierces spell immunity. Yeah. So I'm assuming that is the kick, but I don't know sometimes that's damage and not effect or affected not damage trouble as McKay another jump forward with a pistol play. Coip for follows up with his bear and Matoman. He just spent one he minute in the one. sim bin. He's back down for 80 seconds. And Nisha also on the run underneath the sentry ward. A spear from Boxy tried to catch the target. They just try and keep falling, but the Silver Edge is worn off. And the Savage Roar into a bash, into a root. All the control that Liquid could ask for. I mean, not really with the amount of damage they have, but going thrown is kind of risky these days. Mm. So I think yeah, just getting another side of racks and then see what happens. If they don't buy back, you can poke to your force as well. Well, they're already in. They've already taken the job. And yeah, okay. Yeah, no buybacks. Poke tier fours. Hey, Nisha, we're going to test you. 44 seconds before he's up. Fortification will buy a little bit more time. Secret, no. At least they can't lose their top lane of Rack. So let it go. Prophet actually buys a Rapier. Zai is coming back in to bring the extra DPS for this fight. Nisha as well, but there's your Abyssal Blaze done. Goodbye, Gapsaw. No buyback available from him. And where's your target, Zai? He's actually battling against Koifa's Bear. They're trying to remove it from the field. They are able to do so. The TP in, and they didn't finish up in time. Phoenix tried to BT the front lines. He'll end up missing out on that, but they're going to kill Zai. The Rapier is on the deck. Has it been regathered? Oh, it's not. It's in the hands of Mickey. This is over. <laughs> they don't have the damage anymore. It was the last oh, Yolo play, but... Team Liquid will take game one of this series in 42 minutes. Abaddon is going to have Vlad's HOD pipe, two of the three. Yeah. Void Spirit's going to have a Deso. Chan have a mech. You get the cookie jump forward and the rocket barrage. Yapsaw is low. Insania, one more attack. No, he'll need two. Yapsaw got some extra life. Good. Juke it around the tree lines, but he gets body blocked up by Sai. He had to come back out again. No, or just Poppy just takes it. Gets, gets farmed himself. Mm -hmm. Gets a fast mech, gets a fast six. It's, it's very good, this game. That can work. Top lane, Zive's coming in. Cookie stun from Insaney, but that just allows Yaps to get the double stun under the cooldown. Liquid try and fight. It's like regeneration from tower. Please provide. Zai wants to move forward. Mikke on 44 HP, turns for a rocket barrage and a flat cannon trying to give some extra damage so they can finish off Zai so he will not die in vain. But Insaney and Koifa, they are checking the wrong direction. Zai is headed towards the east. Yeah. I mean, normally you can you can play late game against it. It's just you need to make sure you get you don't get too far for the fight. Yeah, so it's going to stay in close, but the half stomp and the initial stun, trying to make sure that voice spirit goes down. Once again, the cookie stun, not exactly where they want it to be. And SD called out, disruption will happen. No, it's a little too late. Stampede to victory also not work out. But Nisha, the blade mail, helping to try and kill up Insania. The hand of God and mech charges gives so much more sustain to Secret. But Nisha will still end up going down, but the tier one tower of Secret remains alive maybe save it for a better hero there's your cookie jump forward hex is out Amber Spirit is waiting, the Remnant pulling back in Sania, Matumman's able to get the stun over on the Amber Spirit with the finger of death that's why you save it Koifa gets exploded but Liquid are pretty strong right now I mean Secret they're gonna fight yeah Secret should be a little careful maybe in this fight because Liquid's timing is, is okay right now, but I mean, not really careful, just, yeah, I mean, we'll see. I, I think it's a good chance Secret might just crush Liquid here, but. Here we go. Blink, looking for the stun, able to find it over on Boxy. Tiger will be there for the disruption. You'll actually get a copy of the Alchemist who jumped in with a finger of death. Boxy trying to survive. He actually lets the stampede go. But doesn't get much more out of it. Side of Fist Searing Chains combining with a cooldown. Mickey, he doesn't actually have Flat Cannon available for the homing missile. Chan may go down. No, the Hand of God and the mech both come off. Puppy, he will not be able to run away to safety. But the life and time it gave means that Mickey becomes priority target number one that Nisha is able to finish the job on. 
All that fight happened within that full duration of the BKB. And now Team Secret can go back to Roshan. Closer to that 2-3 item timing of Jericho and then maybe take a fight then. Mm -hmm. Or try oh. to get a free kill on Chen here maybe. You're having missiles out, but look who's right behind. Yab Soul starts with the Hex over on the Jericho. No BKB out from him. They get the instant stun following up the Finger of Death. They don't have enough damage to find that quick kill. And combining with Cold down and BKB, Mikke kind of wants to stand and deliver. It's Insania for Yamsor is the trade-off and the BKB timings, but Koifa wants more than that. He wants Puppy, but Puppy's already finished Greaves. Yeah, that's that's cute, Matumba. <laughs> Insania, like they were trying to use the illusions of SD to kill off the Observer Ward that just got planted down and Matumba just blinks forward and destroys it. Now Nisha will step himself forward to go after Boxy. You've got five heroes here that has to do something. The Aghanim Scepter's on the Gyrocopter. That's one new addition at least, but a taunted back Boxy. The melee ranks to try and protect it. You've still got to get through the Aegis to the Immortal. Matumba just shields up. Boxy gets the double stun. Can they get the back lines? Another cookie stun. Nisha and Abaddon both being stunned up for the moment. But Matumba still keeps going with objective-based gaming. The melee ranks is gone. The control with the finger of death puts Mickey down. He doesn't have buyback thanks to the buyout. And now... Bottom right lane of Rax is taken. They could rotate towards the mid. They five men smoke up. They run down mid. They know they need something. Poppy just brought Alchemist into the fight. The smoke will break. They don't see up the hill and they start the fight over on the Alchemist. He's got no chemical rage and maybe you can get the kill. Oh wait, BKB up, Abyssal Blade's done. Gyrocopter's damage goes out the window. And I think the hopes of Liquid taking this game too, it kind of goes with it. They can just run down mid secret and end this. And if a li if Liquid have worked this out, they'll just tap that two buttons together. GG. Game is done, and we have ourselves a third. More first gyro. This game goes late enough. It's one of Mickey's specialties. Would not be surprised to see him just straight up win this game with one team fight. And you dissimulate. So it doesn't remove it right away, does it? The link stays or? Actually, yeah, I seen it that before. It holds for a second. Top lane, this is I. Well, this may be first blood. Maledict pop should be enough to kill him off, and he knows it too. Trying to make his way towards the neutrals, but they won't get the last hit. That's dissimilate, feeling the pressure from the plasma field of Koipfer. And uh, Yabsor's just strolling through under the cover of an Invis room. Looks like they want to do something about bottom lane. Tiger able to jump himself away. Puppy, I think he wants to stick around with it. And it's a level one soul rip. There won't be enough instant follow-up damage. 640 is the HP, but with no Icarus dive from Tiger. Now he uses stick charges. Matumba will get the last hit in. Oh. Maybe that often, so... Koifa, he wants to pick up the Keen Optic, <laughs> but there's a remnant that will pull him up on the hill if he does, and the battle for the 10-minute rune. Now, this won't be scattered out unless Nisha actually jumps down. Okay, now he's able to get it. Protect the neutral items at all costs. Undying Tombstone denied by Puppy. As four heroes from Team Liquid that have come to join the fight, and Paralyzing Cast, two heroes isolated, but nope. You're able just to step yourself away or dissimulate yourself away. Puppy won't be so lucky. Oracle trying to protect himself from all the magical damage. Matalman's continuing to run back to the tier one tower. Cask is still on cooldown for the moment, but four heroes. One of them has plus 108 damage, looking to dive the tier one tower. Batrider now going to TP in. We've got the Pyramid Sun Raid, the Phoenix Sun down. Matalman's trying to get rid of it in time. Will the sun come up? No, it won't. Matalman will get rid of a box to cop so much damage under the tier one tower. He'll live thanks to the one charges. Nope, take that back. Yamsol brings in the extra nuke to finish the job. A quick remnant. Quite f just out of range of that, the flame break won't push him back in time. But now the dive is on from Team Secret Palace and Cast making them very, very difficult. You're, you're not gonna think of the spell that much in the game until you you start dying to it, because it, it, it shreds heroes and uh, Fight Zai. Zai. Blank call. Zai's already having a hard time. There goes the Death Warden. There goes Zai. Just culling bladed down very, very quickly. And Sanya's playing from range to flat cannon from Matoman does do a lot of damage. They're back under the tier one tower into the protection of the Phoenix Sun and Morphling waveforms in. Undying losing so much life, the false promise has to be used on him to keep him alive while the tombstone mopped up by the rest of Liquid. But now Nisha tries to go ham. Koifa dies so quickly, but another call out from Boxy with the Maledict. They need to get that damage into Nisha and Mickey very happy to oblige. Nisha will go down and Team Secret bit off more than they can chew. Koifa did steal a fair chunk of damage. And now we'll see what, what Zai can do. Blink in, last throw, he found the target. 
He found Koi for pulling it back in. Defensive Yule Scepter will come up. The Phoenix Sun will also connect on the ground. But Tumba standing oh, his ground as well, but they haven't taken care of the Phoenix Sun just yet. The Sun comes through, and now Boxy, dunk number one, looking for a second over towards Yabsaw. The Death Ward insane here, completely uncontested to the south, letting it go. And now Nisha, he's got 21 charges available, no step up and running. They want to finish the job. Another paralyzing cast can maledict forward. They can dissimulate, jump over, and they want revenge on Insania. Nisha will end the kill streak. And Secret is not going to let that happen. They're themselves going to smoke. And see what happens here. Raises the closest one, but they find Phoenix instead. Flying versus flying. Koifa wants to come over, but nope, nope, nope. Phoenix yes, is already down. Though. Buyback's available. Paralyzing cast can be pretty damn good. Bounce between the heroes with a full death wall timing once again. And Maledict on Puppy. And dying. Oh, they got a lot of extra heal arriving in from the Oracle, but now he's dead and gone. Koifa, can they get the extra damage into Matama? Did the false promise? No, it didn't do enough damage. Not inside of all of that, but it won't stop Mickey from rampaging forward for a double kill. They have to get rid of this tombstone. So difficult to play against the undead. And Batrider, well, he'll be the next target. Call him up, bring him down. Team Liquid, Repel Team Secret. And once again, the only person to die is going to be that Razor. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of also his role this game, is to just kind of link the, the gyro and... Oh, what uh, a call! Oh. Foxy, he got two of them in the trees. Yapsaw and Matumba both together, no way out. And both laced with Maledict. Mickey didn't even have his E-Blade fly out to him just yet, but Secret were thinking about the defense, but they definitely think was... again now. I guess that ward down there, so they're moving into the trees. Is this, is this uh, the confidence that Liquid should have at this point? Uh, kind of, but I think the, they're not that far ahead that they can just... The Observer Ward die! The Blink Call Boxy catches him out. The Observer was there from the Dire Slide, but False Promise to let Batrider stand up his ground. Wish Doctor has been brought down, and now it's Boxy who gets lassoed and controlled. Team Liquid not having the fight they wanted when Razor gets picked up. His BKB, that's the 10 second duration one, being used defensively to get back behind the tower. To beat that type of hero, so. Oh, Blink Call's gonna happen, and they get it too. Nisha gonna lose his life very quickly. 80 seconds on the sideline without buyback available. Zai's trying to show like an illusion on top lane, so maybe they feel like they have to have to defend, but a smoke from Team Secret. They still have no buyback of the Void Spirit. But Tumble will be the front line of Boxy, able to connect over on the call. And now maybe Batrider, he gets the lasso over on Mickey. Matumba can get the BKB called out and black and damage out. But no, he's dead. No buyback available. Team Secret are all pushing up the daisies. The only buyback that is available is on the Batrider, but they can just go GG now. There's nothing left for Team Secret to do. Liquid can end this and 2-1 the series. Wow. Yeah, I mean, Liquid's team fight is just... That's superior, right? They don't know. They don't know that they, they look to go for the tier four towers. Voice Spirit's up and they, they're gonna give it respect. Liquid is not what you're looking for. Well, they smoke ah, up anyway. Up, Liquid yeah. is sitting behind their cores. A blink forward, the lasso. It's over on Boxy. Tombstone got to drop absolutely everything you've got to try and kill off this axe. Yamsaw trying to stand on the lines. The never ending silence on the axe. And maybe now you have enough damage with the Phoenix Sunray. It's going down, but have they got enough damage? They're still stunned up. But Tumberman, he's going to get rid of it. So Phoenix is down, but Axe has fought back into this fight. Gyrocopter so low on damage. Had 214 of it stolen. Now the cask, all the bounces are there. And this may just be well played. There's no buybacks on Team Secret. Liquid will go down the mid lane. They killed the egg that time, but you know, it's just so... Oh, you need your whole team to hit that egg to avoid to die when it gets to this point, so... Like, too many issues to deal with and you chose the Phoenix egg. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they, they... They drafted to kind of win three lanes.